day 10 today and I have woken up so sleepy. Um, yesterday was quite a tough day. It was freezing cold all day. I don't think I was warm all day long. And um, there was wind, rain, I was up really high and I was alone all day as well so there was no morale to keep me going which is fine I don't mind being on my own but I think it was just one of those days and I was really tired as well but I got to camp last night and cut my nails cleaned my nails sewed my um, pocket thing up here which is what I keep my camera in because that had ripped um, I did a fix on my trousers as well because they've been falling down so I've stitched the sides up so hopefully they'll stay up a little bit more and had some food, cold food, because obviously I don't have a stove either. And I was sat there shivering in my sleeping bag, but eventually I warmed up. And I just thought, well, I'll just lie down for a little bit before I then do something like edit on my phone or something. Um, and that was about seven o'clock and I didn't wake up till quarter to six. So I had nearly 11 hours sleep, which is not like me at all. I'm normally sat like a six or seven hours. So I obviously needed it. But my campsite's been amazing. I came across this little spot here. This is around about mile 98 and it leads off to another little section down there. And I have been completely alone. So I think sometimes it's nice to just stop and take some time. But I'm looking forward to today. I get to hike into Warner Springs today, which I think is about 10 miles or something from here. I think it's around about 10 or 12 miles maybe so I'm going to start off it's about seven o'clock in the morning and I am then going to go to the 100 mile mark today which is only two miles down the road so I'll keep walking till then and I'll see you at 100 miles look where I am I've finally done it! I've done 100 miles! I'm so pleased! I've only got to do this 25 and a half more times now. Yeah, no problem! <laughs> yeah, I'm really pleased to get to mile 100. It's a beautiful morning this morning. The walk's been absolutely amazing. Um, so different than yesterday. Absolutely, complete turnaround in weather. So I'm very, very happy to be at mile 100. Yay! I've got another 100 miles! <laughs> I'm not quite sure why there's two, there's probably going to be another one along the way, but I reached another 100 mile point. I'm presuming there's a couple of different variations here, but yeah, it's the, I kind of like this one, this is cool. It feels so different today. It's, it's like a completely different day. I've got a song in my head of Aladdin, the Disney film. Um, a whole new world. I've been kind of replaying that in my head all morning. And honestly, today is so different than yesterday. And it's obviously helped that I've managed to talk to loved ones back home this morning. And the weather is amazing. Honestly, I, could, I feel like I'm in a Disney film today. It feels really strange. And I'm just walking along these beautiful um, try it. Oh my gosh, the view is just, every time you go around a corner, it just takes my breath away. And it was so great actually passing the 100 mile point. I feel like I've really achieved something now and I feel like so much has happened in such a short space of time already. It's crazy. Um, it's, yeah, today's amazing. I love it. Now I feel like I should be singing something out of Sound of Music. What is it? She starts singing something about the hills being alive. I'm kind of in the middle of this valley bit. Hope I'm not making you too dizzy doing this. It is so peaceful today. And there's so many pretty flowers everywhere. Spring is absolutely gorgeous in the desert. Or is it deserts really gorgeous in the spring? Yeah, I think that sounds right. Cut the first bit. <laughs> but this is a different little path that I've got that I'm on today. It is, the terrain's been amazing. It's been really rocky for a few days. Sorry, <laughs> I got distracted by a cute little butterfly. Um, the terrain, oh, there's loads of little butterflies. Oh, they're everywhere. I don't know if the camera will pick them up. But yeah, sorry, the, <laughs> the terrain's not as rocky today. It's been, it's been like um, lush. I think that's the right word, isn't it? Like lush green and, um, oh, it's so nice out here. I love it.
Sarah's little bunny rabbit. He's so cute. Hey, yeah. Are you looking at me? Are you coming to say hello? I think my little friends are coming to see what I'm doing. So I've just filled up with some more water and I'm going to head back onto trail. It was a nice little flowing creek here and my next stop will probably be Eagle Rock. I believe that's only a couple of miles up, up on the trail now so I'm not far from that and I think I came off here somewhere. Yeah, I came down here. I don't know if I told you this or not but earlier on when I got up this morning I started walking on the trail and I noticed that my trousers started feeling wet and I'm thinking I've definitely not had an accident but what it was is my bladder is actually leaking it's got a hole in it somehow and it was strange because when I put it in my bag this morning I did hear it kind of hissing a little bit and I wasn't quite sure what was happening but it's dripping from the top part of it which is strange so I'm gonna have to get a replacement for that because that holds two liters so I've been relying on that so I've got a smart water bottle and some other little spare bottles with me so I've been absolutely fine today and I will be fine um, until I get a new one but I have to get a replacement piece of gear already and it's day 10 typical but I've just filled it with water here it's absolutely gorgeous on this little stretch let me show you there's this creek running obviously this probably won't be like this in the summer but it is so peaceful and then I had all these cows I think they're following me still they're kind of following me up this road path here because they obviously like the water too so they're keeping me company on this little stretch and I've got to my first stream crossing. If only they were all going to be that easy. bunny rabbits. They're so cute. <laughs> hey little bunny. Hey. I love it up here. It must be all the flowers. I'm sure there was another one there. I don't want to fright. Oh there you go. Look there's two bunnies. Ah, oh, Off they go. They're so cute. Can you see all the orange on the hills? Ghost, one of the trail angels who gave us a ride into Julian, was explaining that this is all the poppies. So bright. And I've got my first sighting of Eagle Rock. Let me zoom in and see if I can show you. Now I'm one of these people that normally looks at baby scan pictures and can't find the baby but there you go, there's Eagle Rock. Oh no it's not. <laughs> oh, I'm such a dork. That's Eagle Rock. It's the way I zoomed in, honest. So there you go. There's the... If I can do it with my finger, if you can see my finger. There you go. There's Eagle Rock. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I zoomed in on the wrong rock. That's a bit embarrassing. I'll show you a clearer picture when I get closer. I'm here at Eagle Rock. Wow, that is kind of impressive. I came up to a junction not far back for the Warner Springs post office sign and what you do is you follow this trail along here for about 1.2 miles. What people used to do I think was go on that highway over there 
but the book actually recommends that you take this trail into town because it's a lot safer so you're not actually hiking on the road so that's what I'm doing and it feels weird I feel like I'm cheating on the PCT because I'm not actually on it anymore it feels really strange and also it's miles that don't count so I'm gonna be doing like nearly two and a half miles today that are not PCT miles but that's okay I've got a resupply box I'm picking up and I get to see a different part of America so it's all good <laughs> So I've got a little bit of road walking to get to the post office, which is apparently down this road by about a third of a mile. So I'm gonna put the camera away and be safe. This is Warner Springs Ranch Resort. Look how fancy. It looks so inviting. I found the post office. I'm back on trail where I left off earlier and now I'm heading to the community centre because I need to try and find fuel for my stove. So I'm just on a little mission now looking for the community centre and I'm hoping it's still open. It's coming up to about half past four so we shall see when I get there. But otherwise I'm going to be cold soaking for a few days but I'm going to have a look now and see if I can find it. So I've just been at the Warner Springs Resource Centre, which is the community centre in Warner Springs, and it's completely catered for hikers. So it's got all the resupply stuff, it's camping there, showers, toilets. You can even charge all your things there as well. So I've been there about an hour, just catching up with some people I've met, and I'm heading back out again. The sun's just setting and then all the little wildlife's out, all the bunny rabbits, the birds, the butterflies everywhere. It is so gorgeous and it's cool. I've been at the community centre. I stayed there about just over half an hour, so not too long. Charged up my devices just for a little while. Um, didn't get much charge there, but something's better than nothing. Um, got some ramen noodles. I've never had ramen noodles before. So I found a vegan version, um, I think it's oriental style of a certain brand, I'll try and tell you when I find out, but it's a kind of, it's a strange little place, there's lots of hikers there, an awful lot of hikers there camping. I think it's $15 a night to camp and you can use showers and wash your clothes, charge your things up, um, have your food there, I think they're doing like a taco dinner that you can buy there as well, but I was just keen to get back out on trail. I absolutely love it out here, so I'm heading off for about another three miles. I've already done one, so I've got two more miles to go till there's another campsite. And I'm just taking it steady and then just enjoying the nature. I don't think I've been out hiking this late yet, so it's it's really nice. I like it a lot. But I don't know what this over here is. It looks like a bit of a beach. It's obviously some kind of riverbed thing that's all dried up. It startled me, I don't even know what it is. Oh, what are you? I really need to learn my wildlife over here. Somebody might know. What is it? You startled me. I think I startled you, I'm sorry. Hey. What are you? Is it a turkey? So I've hiked 17 miles so far today and feeling good. The feet are starting to ache a tiny little bit, but I have been hiking the PCT now for 10 whole days. Um, I did two Nero's, so not a full zero yet. And this is the first time I'm trying a Gatorade. I've heard about these. I've had a Powerade that somebody gave me 
last week at some point but I've never had a Gatorade and I've gone for the blue colour obviously I like my blues and greens and I'm gonna try it and see what it's like I've got about a mile and a half to go till I get to camp and I'm just feeling like I need some refreshment so here goes quite sure what to make of it. It tastes very artificial. Um, hmm. It's not bad, it's not bad. I'm not used to artificial drinks. I quite like water with fresh fruit in it and things like that. So it's different, but apparently it's very good for you because it's good for rehydrating you. It's got stuff in it. I don't know what it's got in it. Things I can't pronounce, which is probably not a good thing. Glycerol ester of rosin and blue one. So yeah, I'm either gonna be running around camp going a bit crazy tonight. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see, I'll see what happens. But I have now tried a Gatorade and yeah, it's not too bad. So this feels a bit weird. You know when you're just walking along and something just feels a bit wrong, but you shouldn't be doing it. <laughs> so I'm walking under a road. So this is obviously part of the PCT. Um, um, I'm not quite sure where it goes. Is it a bad thing if I just follow footsteps? Let's see. Oh, this is where I sink. We seem to be going this way. Let's see what happens. It's a little bit weird. Not quite sure what's going on under here. I don't, can't say I like it very much. There we go. There's a the trail. And a little river. <laughs> yeah, very odd. It's a bit of a strange little place to be crossing at night. I where there's water. I've got some company on trail. California cows! <laughs> They're kind of quite close to um, where I'm walking. So it's quite funny. So they're kind of looking at me a bit curiously. Making some strange noises. So, these ones are quite curious, he's walking up here. Hello cows! Hiya! Hello! <laughs> they don't seem too interested in me. <laughs> 